question here about uh, collaborations and joint ventures or JVs. If you have a small audience, how can you do a JV with someone who has a bigger audience? Okay, it's a great question. And um, basically there are two ways. One way is if, if they're a friend or a colleague and they're a fan of your content, they may be willing to help you out and you know, interview you. Uh, even if it's a half hour interview, you know, it doesn't take them much time and they don't mind posting it on their social media. Um, that's a, that's, you know, that, that they're a friend, they're willing to kind of help you out and you can ask them, Hey, would you, would you be willing to interview me? I'm, my audience is really small and I'd, I'd be so grateful for your help. So some, some friends and colleagues would be willing just to, just to help you out and do that. So that's one way. But the other way, of course, is you have to um, exchange something. Uh, I guess I'll give you three ways. The second way is you have to exchange something. Uh, the simplest exchange, of course, is money. And so some people with a larger audience are willing to take your money to promote your content, interview you or promote your content or to uh, promote your offer, your coaching service or your product. And you have to talk, ask them, hey, well, this is the influencer model, right? Like Instagram influencers are very well known to take money to promote promote some put a post up about something. So you can ask, and, and, and some people who, who only have several thousand followers on Instagram or on YouTube or wherever, they're, they're quite cheap. They may be, because nobody's approaching them. Uh, I'll give you an example. I have 6,000 followers on Instagram and I have 8,000 followers on Facebook and I have 15,000 followers on YouTube. And very few people approach me asking me, can I pay you? to promote something of mine. Now, I usually say no, I, I do get a few like software things approaching me and they don't even tell me what the rate is actually. Um, I, maybe I should just ask them just to see out of curiosity. Now, of course, I'm, I'm, I have a certain notoriety, I'm not, but that I'm not willing to promote. But some people, they build several thousand people pretty quickly and they're happy to take 50 bucks, maybe 30 bucks, maybe a hundred dollars to put a post up, really. Yeah. And so it's like, if you're like, oh my gosh, this person has a really good audience. They're really engaged. I can tell from their comments. Um, and these people, as I look at the commenters profiles, these are the people I want to reach, reach out to them. If you're willing to spend 30 or 50, you know, just say, Hey, uh, could I, pay, could I pay you 30, pay you 50? I mean, you could start with a low number and see, see if they, they don't write back to you, then go with a higher number and see if they write back to you. But yeah. So, so that's one way you could exchange either money or if, if they're a fan of yours, if they're a follower of yours, they might be willing to say, hey, hey, can I give you some service for, for free in exchange for you promoting my things? I give you a free session or two or three free sessions. So exchange something, okay? And the third way, of course, is to exchange your audience, right? And so uh, that's a very common way of collaboration or joint venture is to say, hey, I've got, um, you know, I've got 300 followers and you have 300 followers, give or take 150. And uh, you know, let's, let's interview each other, right? So you, you kind of start small and you kind of build up from there. Like right now you have 300 Instagram or hundred, I don't know, it doesn't matter. It's like you have hundred right now. You can collaborate with somebody who has between 50 and maybe even 300, depending on how bold you are. If you have hundred, can you approach someone with 300? Maybe you're bold enough to do that and, and you, you know, but at least approach someone with between 50 and 200 is totally doable. Hey, can we interview each other on Instagram live or something like that or uh, YouTube? So you kind of work your way up because, because you know, you, you work with someone else who has about a hundred, right? Not all hundred people are going to start following you, but out of the hundred, maybe you'll get three new followers or 10 new followers sometimes. And you just kind of keep working your way up. Like now you're going to try to collaborate with someone who has 200 followers and 300. You just get more bold over time, you just kind of keep collaborating up if you can. And sometimes you also collaborate down, meaning you're helping someone else who is smaller than you, you know, you kind of helping them lift them up because you like them and you, you know, you believe in their content. So I hope this helps.